come before you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Help me share your love and grace in all I do. Lord, I come before you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Let me share your love and grace in all I do. Shine a light to a darkened world And always live the truth in every way May your love for me be seen by everyone And lead others to trust and love you more and welcome to another episode of Adventist Youth Live. We are very happy and excited that you can join us. And of course, we want to wish you 
uh, happy 2020. I nearly say 2019, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, but you know, we're really, really happy that you can join us again for this first episode of Adventist Youth Live. Well, I really, really miss you guys, you know, over the holidays. But um, it's good that we can be back um, this evening. And in the studio with me, we have some familiar faces. I hope so. <laughs> right? Um, we have Travis. All right. Travis, greet, greet the people and Good say... Good night, everyone. I'm from St. George's Seventh Adventist Church. Um, I wonder if he had to tell you that again. I think <laughs> I know everybody knows, you know. All right, very nice, Travis. Um, and then we have... That's Anne James. Also from St. George's. Happy New Year to everyone. Right. Two young, energetic persons. So guys, how, how was the holiday? How was the, the, the Christmas and, you know, all the, you know... It's been good. It's, it's been good. Good? Just good? Eating a lot of food. Yeah. Spend and it's welcome you. Stay with us and be part and to, you know, um, invite all your friends all over the world to join us on Adventist Youth Live. We're going to have a wonderful time tonight. It's a light program. We're going to chit-chat a little bit. We're going to talk about some old things, some borrowed things, and some new things. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. We're going to see where we get with that, you know? So we're very happy that you can join us. But before we go any further, let's bow our heads as we say a word of prayer. Destiny, you want to pray for us, Thanks. Sure. Yeah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for another Sabbath day and for bringing us all safely through another year. Yes. I pray, Lord, that as we go through the program, Lord, that you would bless each and every single one of us. You would multiply our words and that I pray that it would be a blessing to all of our viewers. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 Well, well, well. Let's, 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 let's sing this evening. Let's sing this evening. We're going to make melody with our voices. Uh, join us wherever you are and let's sing. Travis, who's, who's the first number four? So we have Dario Alexander. Uh -huh. Song number 434. 434. Remember the first and the last stanzas so that we can get in as many as possible. 400. And 34. We speak of the realms. Of the newness of the year, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, it's like a continuation of a continuation, yeah. yeah. You're gonna see some great things happening, you know, or, you know so. right? But we, we're really happy, um, to be alive and to be in 2020. And of course, I want to plug in this one time. Um, we had some great successes in 2019, mm -hmm. um, as it relates to Adventist Youth Live, and we anticipate greater things. Mm -hmm. Um, in 2020, yeah, greater things in 2020. And we want to challenge you and challenge all our viewers, challenge all our young people um, to, to get on board in this ministry. There is a place for all of you young people, you know. Um, so we want you to get on board and, and, and contact us and let us know what you can do, what you're willing to do, how you're willing to support this ministry. And one thing you can do for sure is that you can like, and you can share, share this page, yeah, and invite everyone to 
view Adventist Youth Live. The next number is for who there, sir? Ricardo, 40 years, one song, number three. Number 633. 633. When we all get to heaven. When we all get to heaven. consistent and, and that kind of thing yeah yeah very nice keep it up keep it up well this and tell us the next number Rachel Jerome requested song number 446 mm -hmm. low what a glorious sight appears oh, 446 mm -hmm. all right it's not one that we sing very often okay you, you know this one this one we we need some we need some help <laughs> I think I heard it before, but I never really learned it. Yeah, so, we, yeah. right. So, as a member of the choir, please. <laughs> we need to work on that. Yes. To work on it. Definitely right. work on that. Next right. Right. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Let's see if we can interact with a few of our online viewers. It's Adventist Youth Live. You, you've just joined us. 
we want you to like and share the page. Yeah, remember to like and share the page. Before we take the next number, let's see if we could just interact with some of our online viewers, see who we have there, um, who's saying hello. It's New Year, folks. Come on, tell us New Year. Cassia Alexander says, um, 319, please, and thank, thank you. you. Happy New Year, Sister Alexander. Um, she's... Um, dear and precious to me. Um, all right, I say no more. Right. Um, read it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, George Stanley yeah. Ford is saying Happy New Year, everyone. Happy yeah. New Year to you as well. Right. Uh, That's George saying hi, good night to everyone, and happy Sabbath. He wants to sing to it. To yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if we get that there. Uh huh. Who else we have? Patricia and Thomas. Happy Sabbath, brethren, and happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy Keep the Sabbath greetings TV coming. TV. Keep the greetings coming. It's the first program of 2020. We want to hear all of you. Send out your greetings. Say hi. Say hello. I I want to do this one. Emily Thomas. Emily Thomas is there. She says happy Sabbath. You know. Um. So we're very happy to have you. Very very happy to have you. All right. Who else we have? Let's see. Who else we have there? Let's go down then. Um, Kenisha Let uh, is there. Very nice. Samantha, happy right. Sabbath to all and mm -hmm. happy New Year. Right, uh, very nice. Buddy Hosford, happy New Year to all. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very nice. Um, Spice Lady Brave Boy. <laughs> right, Spice Lady Brave Boy is there. Barbara Bedford says happy Sabbath and happy New Year to you, Sister Roslyn. Mm -hmm. Ricardo says God, God wants um that's all, to, all be to be there yes very nice very nice yeah mm -hmm. all right okay very nice um steve is there lindy Belfon is there um uh rosemary sarah richardson. Mm -hmm. rosemary richardson saying happy sabbath all the way from saint vincent um i was saying earlier glenn that tom um glenn um so thomas is from she's in canada you know mm -hmm. okay. saying hello all right so we have a number of persons around so glenda um is right she's everyone. from st eustatius in the caribbean very nice we're glad to have you right very nice uh That's sister sandy the is there record. right okay so let's go back to the singing and we'll come back a little later remember to like and share the page right so the next number so we have chairman bihari mm -hmm. 359 359 how the voice of jesus calling yes and in 2020 he's calling all of us yes let's sing 359 <laughs> Serving God is a wonderful thing, you know. Yes, yes, yes. You know, and young people, we want to challenge you, um, and you're going to hear from these two young persons a little later on as we continue in the program. We want to hear from you, so remember to like and share the page, right? Um, I want to say Happy New Year to to Hamish Daniel. You know this fella. Oh, yeah, man. You, you know him. That guy right there. Oh, yeah, right, right, there. Yeah, right there. Right there. Where? Where? I mean, right, 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 right there. You know, he's one of our 
more faithful young person, yeah? He's an accomplished it? musician, you know? Mm -hmm. And he's always there. Happy New Year, Hamish. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Maybe they cannot <laughs> see you, but you know, they can hear you, <laughs> they can hear you yeah? <laughs> and then we want to say Happy New Year to our associate youth director. Okay. Um, you know, you know, hello, you know, the, what, what's his name? Pastor Jamie Gordon. Gordon. Pastor Jamie Gordon, yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. He's Happy in New studio, New you know, <laughs> right? And we also want to say Happy New Year to our um, um, youth director, right? So, youth director, as we begin the new year, Pastor, Pastor Bernard Lance. Pastor Bernard Lance. He's not in studio tonight, no, but wherever he is, I know he, he's, he's saying, watching, he's you know. <laughs> All right, very nice. We want to also say Happy New Year to um, Brother Keith Hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you can well? say. Huh? He's in the studio as well. Well, you should tell me. <laughs> He's somewhere in the studio, you know. But we have some, you know, we have some adults and some great support, you know. Behind these youthful programs, there are always adults who are, you know, who have gone this way before, who are pushing and driving things, yeah. So we just want to say uh, happy new year, Mr. Kito, yeah. Happy new year. Happy new year. Right, your body. And then there's another man in the back, boy, but I can't see him too clearly. Hosford, Hosford, yeah, boy. Kimo, Kimo, Hosford, boy. What is his right name again, boy? Kimo. Kimo. But no, Kimo is not even. No, Kimo is a kind of, uh, kind of shortened version of his name. A Kimo. Michael, Michael, Hosford, boy. Michael, Michael, Michael Hosford. Hosford. Come, come and say hello to the people, man. Say it loud, let them hear. Hello, people. Happy Sabbath. Happy, Happy New Year. Sabbath. That's how we do it on Adventist Youth Live for the New Year. We, you know, we just want to big up. And then those guys in the back, they make things happen on the technical side. Leroy, George. Happy New Year, Leroy. Leroy, come forward. Open the door and say Happy New Year, Leroy. Kenley, line up. Kenley. Yeah, enough love for the New Year. Yeah, yeah, yeah enough yeah. love. Kenley, we are here. You, Kenley. Come on, come on, greet the people. Say hi and hello. And Happy so, New Year, Youth Life Family. Right, man. And these are young guys. They're young guys just using the gifts and the talents to glorify and praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. Right. Very nice, very nice. Let's sing another one. Let's sing another one. Ina Alexander is asking for song number 92. 90, this is my father's one. 92. We're watching the time, boy. Let's see if we could put in a two more hymns. 92. This is my father's one. What a, a fitting hymn yeah. for 2020. Yes? Oh, she's she's watching. She's What's watching your mom's me? name? My mom's name is Minionette Hall. All right, all right, Sister Hall. I saw her um, towards the end of the year. You know, mm -hmm. right? Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. The second person. And I also want to say Happy New Year to my brother. Your brother, what's his name? Aleski Hall. <laughs> all right, all right. Very nice, very nice. Happy New Year, folks. That's one. You have two persons. You just yes. Um, my mother as well. I know she's watching for sure. Mm -hmm. What's her name? What's her name? Antonia James. Uh -huh. Happy Sabbath to you, Mother. Uh -huh. And I also want to say Happy Sabbath to my aunt in America. 
Her wow. name is Doral James. Doral James. And I also want to say happy Sabbath to Brother Kimo. Oh, right, all right. <laughs> very nice, very nice. So you have an auntie in, in the US. Yes, yes, I right? do. So over the holidays, US. Yes. Uh, US. <laughs> I just pull it. All right, let's go on to the next one. Let's see if we can get in one more, two more, yeah? Watching the time, managing it well by the grace of God. Vicky so, Kato. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three nine zero. Three hundred and ninety. Three nine zero. We love thy Sabbath, Lord. Mm -hmm. Indeed we do. my king that's a very good number and remember to like and share the page on adventist youth live yeah number one five <laughs>
one, the last one. You're gonna have that lesson. You're gonna have that last one. The last one. The last one lesson. Game is yours. number 99. 99 for who? From Nissan Let. Let. All Nissan. right. 99. That's our last one tonight, right? God will take care of you. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I think that's a nice way yes. to end the prison yeah, session here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, to reassure persons that God will certainly take care of us. Let's join together. Wherever you are and sing the scene, two stanzas in the scene. That's how we do it on Adventist Youth Live. <laughs> trust him we just have to give him our lives and let him do his thing in our lives mm -hmm. words, that's right. yeah very very nice that's how you feel you, you you're buying what i'm selling you so sold on this thing <laughs> you have no doubt about this thing give me all oh, the no. money have. <laughs> right very nice very nice very nice mm -hmm. All right, folks we just want to interact uh, travis you want to interact with a few of our online viewers tonight all right so we have Francisca Perpy, mm -hmm. Amen and Amen, yeah. um, Tremendo Harry, oh yes, mm -hmm. Glenda, Glenda, mm -hmm. praise the Lord. Uh -huh. Can you agree on what you're saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. all right, very nice. <laughs> Ricardo is there, Don Batiste, we've seen some, Wendy Gill is there, Happy mm -hmm. New Year mm -hmm. to all of you, Margaret, uh, Joseph is there, Esther. Happy New Year, Esther Kanha is Esther there, Ruby Mori, hello Ruby, how are you Ruby? <laughs> Very nice, well, as you see there, very nice, very nice. Keep it coming, remember to like and share the page, yeah? Because we want to hear some of your, your testimonies later on. Cassandra Strong is there, she said, thanks for Sabbath greetings in varying languages. I'm seeing them, but I don't think I can pronounce them. Sure. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you. All right, well, let's go to a, a few promotions. Um, before I tell you about the topic, I just want to talk to you, just a few things that are happening as we begin the year. Well, of course, um, um, the first Sabbath, um in 2020 um is with us you know and we want to invite and encourage all of you all of you viewing and, and call up a friend message a friend and tell them adventist youth life is on and of course tomorrow plan to go to the house of god yeah everybody plan to go to the house of god 
all Adventist churches should be full to capacity tomorrow. Study Would you say right. study here, yeah, right? Yes, and that's the point. <laughs> you have it, you know, yes, and so on. And you are, you like just continue on the bright side of the day, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we want to encourage you and call up a friend, invite a friend and neighbor. It's not too late, you know, and and go to the house of God and give Him praise. Would you say Amen? Amen. Yeah. Right. And then of course at Maranatha Church tomorrow, please God. Um, uh, tomorrow, please God on the brighter side. That's um, Raymond Nelson. Of course, you'll be having a special, you'll be giving his part of his life story, you know, you know, Raymond Nelson. Yeah? He's yeah. been on youth life sometime in the past. Um, you know, he was um imprisoned in the 1983 uprising thing. I can't give you all the story, you'll have to see him, you know. But of course, um, God, God walked and um, he was released and so on. Since then, he has turned his life over to the Lord, Amen. right? On Monday, the 6th, he will be celebrating his 68th birthday. Wow. Yes, yeah, 68th birthday. And so he has spread all the news one fan wide, fan mm wide, -hmm. right? That tomorrow, please God, he's doing that special, you know, presentation and so on at Maranatha Church on his life story, you know, mm -hmm. and so on. How God has has led him, you know, and he's so on. Like that, for many years for, in Maranatha. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I I really told him I couldn't be there, you know, but um I hope I'll see some clip or so, you know, of about him. But you find the time, go on, you know. And, and, and listen to this great man of God there. Then, of course, um, tomorrow also is day of prayer and fast in our Adventist churches, you know, as we pray, as we begin the new year, to ask God to do something great in our lives personally, you know, um, you know, bathe us and fill us with the Holy Spirit so that we can be of great use to Him. Isn't that something good, you know? Yeah, Each one of us, you know? And, and, and so on. So I think it's really, really good. And if you didn't plan to fast, fast is not imposed on anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, if you didn't plan, you can still go, you know. There'll be a lot of singing and presentations at the different churches that will certainly encourage you and uh, guide you in the right direction in spiritual matters, yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, there are different kinds of fast. You can fast from food, you can have fruits, you can have juice, you can, you know, lessen on the lunch, you know, you, you choose, yeah. Mm -hmm. But but participate by the grace of God, all right. Mm -hmm. And then, um, on the 11, next week, the Holy Spirit Emphasis Week begins. Um, that's a time set out where we, we, we study more about the working of the Holy Spirit, you know, um, in our lives and so on. The Holy Spirit is always there, always available, always working. He is always, you know, but that's the time we spend some time, you know, studying more and asking God to give us more of the Holy Spirit, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, and then Family Life Secretaries is a special meeting at Grenville Church for you tomorrow, please God, right? Tomorrow afternoon. Right, so um, we are encouraging you um, to be there. Anything happening? Anything happening? What's going on by St. George's tomorrow? Because you folks also have St. George's with me tonight, so I'll talk about St. George's. What's, what's happening in St. George's tomorrow? Uh, the only thing I can think of is um, we're hosting the consecration service for our district. Oh, our cons consecration mm -hmm. service yes, at St. George's. Yes, so Maranatha is, is Maranatha, coming up. Belmont. Belmont is coming. Victory. Victory is coming. And, and course, you might yeah. still have some people from Bolio or some mm -hmm. the other churches just, Maybe, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right, everybody's nice. invited, so <laughs> no matter if you're oh, Sunday night. <laughs> Whoa, there you go. This is all very close, you know. But you guys will be singing this, and you'll be singing the choir. Yes, the choir will be singing. Yes, and George's yes, choir, yes, boy, yes. you know, right? Very nice. See, Dolly Shalom was inviting people to her church as well. Yeah, who? Rich, rich one is there. Who is that? Rich, oh, Rich Dolly one. Yes. Dolly is mm -hmm. there, oh, yeah. Yes. This Avian Mason is there, you know, mm -hmm. right? Pamela Collymore, you know, she says, done. Whatever is that, very nice, <laughs> you know, and then I'm um, recovering very, very much. Okay, folks, tonight we're looking at, let's let's talk to the topic a little bit and then we're going to take a break with the item of special music, but let's, let's talk to the topic a little. We're talking about tonight, um, the theme is New Year Resolutions. New Year Resolutions, it's a new year, and around this time people make a lot of resolutions, and I know all you make some resolutions too, we're going to hear some, but um, we're talking about the topic is something old, something bold, something new. Oh, yes. well, well, a lot of something, something, you know. <laughs> something old, something borrowed, something new. We're going to talk about that. Our scripture based, scripture text um, this evening is taken from 2 uh, Corinthians. 2 Corinthians. That's what you want to read it first. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 17 to 20. Sure. Mm -hmm. And it reads, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. New creature. The old things are passed away, uh -huh. and behold, all things are become new. Okay. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. and hath given us given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Yeah. To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, 
not imputing their trespasses unto them, mm -hmm. and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. Ah, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's name, be reconciled to God. Amen, amen. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, I, I love the first part, Travis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, if any man be in Christ, he's a what? new creature. New creature. All yeah. things are past, you know. And and so and, and so the objective of tonight's um, program is to identify ways in which we can plan for and make decisions for the new year, as we reflect on things gone. You know, we're not saying throw out everything. You know, um, there there are things that happen that we will remember, yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially the good ones, the positive ones that we can build on and so on. Right. So we can use those. To, to chat the way forward and to adopt plans based on things we have read or seen and, and to set goals and, on, for the new year, right? So that's the whole intent or objective of this uh, program. And each year, each year, um, people make resolutions right around the world. When people make resolutions, I will do this, I want to do, I won't do that, and all kind of resolutions, fancy ones, and so on, you know. Um, some are broken after they they made some, um, are broken maybe shortly after they are made. After yeah. one day. After one day. You sound like you had that experience. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, parents, you know, you have made many resolutions for the new year. I want to be this, I want to be that, I want to do this, and you know, I wouldn't want to do this, and so on. Tonight we are we are using the adage old something old something borrowed something new to explore on the source from which we can draw to uh, chart our course for the new year 2020. It's a new year and we just can be um, just hoping that things happen. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. no plan, Travis. Yeah, man. We can't really um, be like that. If tomorrow all. comes, well, I see what happens yeah. and so on. <laughs> And then the next day, I see what happened. Yeah. You'll get down to December and realize, but nothing happened. Nothing happened? Oh, you know, I'm still at the same place, you know? Yeah. And, and that kind of thing. So we, we, we're going to talk to that. But, you know, um, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Mm -hmm. He was with God in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the word of God. Yes. Yeah? He has always been with God, even before time existed. So Jesus, the word of God, is very old indeed, yeah? Mm -hmm. Not old in the terms of worn out and, you know, and that kind of thing. But, um... Have some age. Right, yes. yeah. Old in, in the best sense of the word. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the original word of God. He was in history, he was in history from the beginning, true. right? He's timeless and classic, you know, tried and true. Right, true. His oldness speaks of his resilience and his priceless value. Mm -hmm. And so tonight, tonight... We want to give you Jesus Amen. to begin the new year. Is, yes. is that a good gift? That is an excellent gift. Mm -hmm. We want to give you Jesus, give yes. everybody Jesus, you know, to, to, to accept Jesus, try Jesus, take Jesus, you know, get to know him, um, 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 establish a relationship, a friendship yes. with him, those, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. True. And and I'm telling you, Jesus will never disappoint you. Mm -hmm. He will never disappoint you, you know. Mm -hmm. He has never disappointed me. True. Sometimes I have disappointed him, yeah. but he has never disappointed me, at, uh, you know, personally. Personally. Personally, mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Travis, you had that kind of experience. And even though we, at, we think that he disappointed us, mm -hmm. it's not really a disappointment. It's mm -hmm. a blessing in this guy. Yeah, sometimes in this we guy. ask for something and we might think. We don't get it. We don't get it and yeah. we think, oh man, oh, man. No, that's not disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. But then in the long run, you realize this is what you need and yeah. something better. And also, we have quiz coming up. Don't forget, you know, we just changed things a little bit tonight. So remember, quiz is still there. So remember to like and share the page. So we take a break with an item of special music and when we come back, we're going to chit chat with Tra Travis and Desan with a few questions I'm going to throw at them and um, we're going to look forward to your comments. So let's take a break as we enjoy this special item of music.
you very much. Uh, welcome back um, to Adventist Youth Live. I know that you enjoyed that item of special music by the Daniel Brothers, um, accompanied there by Nathan Williams. Yeah, um, young uh, guys using their talents to glorify God. Right, and they played "It Is Well with My Soul." Yes, is it well with your soul? Yeah, yes, it is well it with is. your soul. Yeah. Right, so we want to interact with some of our online viewers. We're doing well so far tonight. Mm -hmm. Come, Travis, who, who you want to talk today? So we have Victor Bakri. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Happy Sabbath to all my mission live family. Uh -huh. Greetings from Florida. Florida, wow. Florida in Grenada, Florida in the States, Florida in, you know. <laughs> this was fun. All right, but yeah. that's nice. Ron Antoine saying pleasant Sabbath. Wonderful rendition. Oh, what a taste of heaven this must be. Right. Amen and amen. Amen. And Kira is also agreeing, saying, oh yes, wonderful indeed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. Desi Charles is there. Devon Romel is there, you know. Mm -hmm. Very happy Julian to... Julian saying, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Francesca Poppy says, wonderful. wonderful. Right. So have Ricardo saying, happy Sabbath in many languages. Mm -hmm. Chum and Behari are part of this very important ministry, yeah? Okay. Kati Kumbabat says, Beautiful music, yes. And Joyce Sandsford also like the music, beautiful music. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. Dolisha, right. mm -hmm. she's saying happy, <laughs> praise the Lord, lovely. Yeah, right. it's a Dolisha. Yeah, Sabbath. Shannon Grant, uh, she's saying happy Sabbath, very nice. good friend. Sally, happy Sabbath, trust that God's continue, God's continued blessing will be upon you, yeah. Nadia Julian is there. All right, right, folks. Right, we'll come. So let me ask you uh, something. I'm Travis. Um, let me, I'm from St. George's SDA Church. I'm a wonderful young man um, involved in many different things, you know. But he's noted for the uniform work, you know, yes. and his drilling abilities and yes. so on and so on. Um, Bess and James is also involved in many things. Uh, she's also in the uniform work, and and, and you can you can you can drill too. Yeah. Bess and yeah. I've I seen try, you. In, in action, you know, and so on. And she's also a Bible connection winner for, well, she's the reigning champion <laughs> until 2020. We'll see what happens. A couple of months. Yeah. Well, a couple of months from now, yeah. <laughs> right, very nice. So so let me ask you, let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. um, both of you, any one of you can answer for us. Um, what are some of the things that God did for you in the past that you will be forever grateful for? Well, one thing you mentioned that Mm -hmm. I'm a uniformed person, mm -hmm. so I'm very grateful for being a destined master guy. Oh, yeah. that was <laughs> last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that was something actually on my bucket list. Yes. Mm -hmm. To become an invested master guy, and it happened last year. It happened so last year. That's one thing I'm very grateful for. Yes, very yeah. nice. Um, helping me through school. Mm -hmm. God has helped me a lot through school. Yeah. School, secondary <laughs> school. <laughs> yes. Um, yes, you know. You, University. Your university, all right. Yeah. What you did? What you did in university? What, uh, what are you doing? Doing med. med so yeah. God has helped me through terms. Terms. Different yeah. terms. So yeah. I'm grateful for that. It's not easy, boy. It's, it's all about easy. God. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Press on, boy. Press on. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> what about you, there, son? Um. Uh, I thought about a couple of things, but one thing I'm mostly grateful for is the. Listen. Just, just pause. I see Ricardo says. Pop says, happy Sabasu. Happy Sabbath in Japanese. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are, you know, the, the, the youth lad is interesting tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Japanese. And, you know, I met a young man who is trying to learn a little bit. He said he wanted to learn another language. So I said, why not Spanish or French? He learning Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but um, that, that's good. That's Something good. Something uncommon. Yeah. Right. Very nice. Desi Charles says, keep, keep focus in Jesus' name. I yes, yeah. Travis is telling you. Keep, keep focus, focus oh. in Jesus' name. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you so much, Desi. Zawali Courtney is there, yeah? All right, um, and, and you can, you two can weigh in on the questions. Eh? You can tell us something of the things you are very grateful, you are eternally grateful to God for and during the past uh, year, the last year in the 2019. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's you, you, you were saying, yes, I was saying I'm very grateful to God for the uh, Christian are miserable. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes they, they, they have nothing to hope for. Some right. of them they, they have trust issues, they don't know who to talk to. Sometimes they're going through something and mm -hmm. people would have disappointed them, and yeah. it's sad that they, they, they don't know that there is somebody who is there to mm -hmm. listen to their problems and to help them out of mm -hmm. it, you know. So mm -hmm. I'm really ha happy that I had that Christian upbringing and I know that there's Jesus there for me. He's mm -hmm. always there for me. Like right. we said, he's always going to take care of me. Um, are, are there m any memories that you um taking with you through 2020? Uh, memories from 2019 in the past that you are 
you are going to take with you to to 2020 it was so good it was so exciting what what memories you know do you have in the meantime while you think there's richard says you're welcome i'll be praying for the youths it is a trying time for the young people certainly and they need your prayers yeah Amen. all right so Thank keep you. keep the young people in in mind donis george is joined us <clears throat> uh, donis good night and happy sabbath what nadia julian is saying there she says she said i think the world is watching tonight people from ooh, from mm -hmm. everywhere mm -hmm. is watching all right uh, are tuning in uh -huh. what a blessing amen very nice spice babes duncan is saying what she says there blessings, blessings pastor and, and the panelists i'm grateful to god for health for strength and keeping me in my right mind oh you, you know <laughs> the vibes of 2020 <laughs> keep the comments coming folks that's really nice <laughs> Travis, you don't feel like 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 us you know you, you mash them up this year as we say in, in jesus name Amen. yeah right thank you very much um we just had a, a, a short break there um you know technology is like that from time to time yeah but we thank you very much for staying with us and for being with us tonight as we continue adventist youth live you know um thank you very much right so we are we are just reading a few of the comments and we are just um interacting with some of our online viewers so we're very happy that you are with us and continue to share continue to like the page um on adventist youth live so I, I was asking folks, I was asking you about the memories, yeah? yeah. You're gonna take with you in twenty twenty. In twenty twenty. What what memory or memories are you gonna take with you in twenty twenty? That's and you look like you have you're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had in mind the uh, as you mentioned earlier, I did take part in the Bible Connection quiz. Oh. Um, uh -huh. I really did enjoy that experience. Right. Um, not just getting to travel, see another island that I haven't seen, that I haven't seen before. Um, yeah. I got Where to was it held in? Antigua. Antigua. Three days. You spent more than I. I just landed in Antigua many, many years ago. Uh -huh. I just landed. I just did twenty you go minutes. I've gone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I've never really been on the soil to see well you know so you you, you have a force on me there yeah, look, it, it, looks, it looks the same that's nothing to different, nothing yeah. to different. Yeah. but um that was a good experience getting to travel i like to do that yeah but um i also got to make a lot of great friends great great friends um, yeah. over there it was great to see other young people getting to interact with them we got along so well yeah everybody just meshed really well yeah. and um even though we're still talking, mm -hmm. we're still friends, and I get to see what they're doing in their churches oh, and so on. Beautiful. So it's really good seeing what other people, uh, other youth around the Caribbean, Caribbean are doing. Are doing right. Well, big up your friends from the Caribbean, or at least they're watching. Um, if you're watching, yeah. Sammy from Trinidad, Iritiwala from Tobago, yeah. uh, Amanda from Barbados, yeah. uh, Janet, she was my roommate from okay. Saint Vincent. She's a singer. She sings. Okay. From okay. St. Vincent, she's a singer. She sings okay. very, very well. Nice, yeah. um, if you guys are watching, happy Sabbath to you and to all the other participants right. as well. Very nice, yeah. very nice. Mm -hmm. Right, so Cassie Alexander is there. Um, Sally Mara says, Good night, Pastor and company. Good night, good night, good night. Good and night happy New Year, Sally. <laughs> Please hold on, Sally. Hold on. No, it's tough, but God is that is certainly good. Yeah, Giselle Fletcher is there. You know, these are all our good friends. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Travis, what about you? What good memory, memory you're gonna take with you through um, twenty twenty? I think the memories I had with hanging with friends, hanging with friends mm -hmm. for twenty nineteen. So you've been amazing. hanging with friends, boy. <laughs> huh? I mean, when they had breaks, yeah, it's really needed because you know mm -hmm. school is tough. And every yeah. single time yeah. you get a chance to have fun with yeah. friends, friends, it's it's gold. But but good good fun. Good, good fun. Good yeah, yeah. yeah. Good you know, I'm, yeah, I'm there's no She was oh, there. She's, she's yeah, yeah, she's oh, one of them. Yes, yes. oh, oh, so she knows right, exactly right. what I'm talking about. It's it's good. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah, wow. Good fun times. Fun times. Wow. You you guys you you mean you when you try your hands at fishing? We tried. Yeah. Catch anything? Oh, I didn't catch anything. Well, but we didn't. Our friends <laughs> caught it, but we were part of the, uh, the, the group. The group, yes. the experience. And as a unit, we caught fish. Right, very good, very good. I like, I like that vibes. I like that vibes. Yes, fishing, okay. you know, and it, and it just shows that young people can engage in in positive things. That's you true. know, That's you true. can group up and, and do positive things. True. True. Lots of nice positive. Yeah. yeah. Very nice, and some people say, "Well, these young people, they're not having fun." And say, "Who said that?" You know, that's exactly. true. That's, that's not true. You guys look at you because Travis yeah. been hanging out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hanging out. Yeah. You know, but in a good way, real 
nice way, you know, Jesus way, you know, Jesus the guy way. with the Christian way, kind of thing, you know, right on, Travis, right on, all right, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, all right, so you can join us when, what, what, what experience you would like to take during, um, you know, for 2020, you can, you can share something with us on, online there also, uh, Pamela Colimo, she's there, Victor Barclay, he's there, you know, so you can weigh in and give us a comment or two on some of those things, yeah? And um, my, my next question, mm -hmm. what Bible text has been inspiring to you and um, um, what inspiration will you be drawing from that text, you know, what, what, what Bible text has been, you know? All right, so my Bible with attitude, I, <laughs> you know, I can do all things all through things. Christ. <laughs> Who yeah. strengthens me. That's it's, right. It, it's That's a powerful right. text. It is mm -hmm. a very powerful text. Powerful text. I mean, like, I met so much different challenges, yeah. and I felt as though that I couldn't do anything. Yeah. I felt as given up as many times. Yeah. But every single time I read that text, I realize that God has my back, mm -hmm. yeah. and I can do all things once He's with me. Right. Like, there's nothing that I can't do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in Philippians 4.13? Yes. All right. So that's a text that you can add to your, you know, collection. Yeah. If you haven't, if you didn't have one, you can add this first one. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things. How many things? All things. All, all things. things. A few things? No. no. How many? All, all things. things. Right. Very nice. <laughs> Indra Perry, she says, happy Sabbath. You know, very nice. She says, Sabbath blessings. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ricardo is speaking a lot of I'm languages. <laughs> Ricardo, we really, we, um, you know, those who can read them and pronounce them, sure they will enjoy that. Um, 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 attempt to pronounce these words. They look very, you know, but um, some like Spanish, some look more than Spanish, you know, <laughs> some look like Japanese and they, you know, but, but thank God maybe you can, you can use, you have the gift of tongues, you can, you know, speak many languages and so on, you know, but all in all, he's saying happy Sabbath, you know, mm -hmm. he's keeping us on the Sabbath thing. Thank you very much. Yeah? That's on your text. My text is Proverbs 3 verse 5 and 6. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Yeah. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Wow, I love that boy. Yeah. In all thy ways, ways, acknowledge him. You know that kind of thing. You don't have to yeah. worry about anything. Yeah. He's mm -hmm. there. Once you yeah. give it to him, like Travis said, you don't yeah. have to worry about anything. Yeah, yeah. Look into the camera and tell tell them that text again because I want them to add so at, at the end of the night they're gonna have not only one from Travis but they have two. One yes. from Travis, one from, from, mm -hmm. from their son, you know? So what what's your what's your text? Proverbs three verse five and six. Five and six. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart mm -hmm. and lean not on your own understanding. Mm -hmm. In mm -hmm. all of your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Yeah, very nice, very nice. He, you can share what's your favorite text with us too, yeah? You can just um weigh in on those comments. What about um is there a spiritual goal that that was not fully accomplished? That's on your list for 2020. You had a spiritual goal in 2019, a resolution per se, but you, you didn't get to accomplishing it. But, 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 but for 2020, that mm -hmm. spiritual goal is high up on your agenda. But in the meantime, while you think about that, let me talk to Pamela. Let me communicate a little bit with Pamela Colimo. And when you hear the Cali Colimos, they're from Barbados. You have to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, Colimo, um, you know. We have a few Colimos here, but they're not plenty, you know. But um, Pamela Colimo says, Happy Sabbath blessings from Barbados. <laughs> yeah. Um, thanks and for acknowledging me. May God continue to bless you, um, you all. Good program. Keep it up in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you for the encouragement there, you know. Um, and Barbados known for its flying fish and cuckoo, you know. <laughs> Very nice. Roxanne Bola says, happy Sabbath. Happy you know? Sabbath, Auntie Roxanne. Is that a new uh, Auntie yeah. Roxanne? Yes, yes, yes. Right, <laughs> auntie. Right. Um, Donis George is saying, her text is Psalm 37, verse 4. Mm -hmm. And it says, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Wow. Amen. Yeah. This text has strengthened me through 2019 and gives me hope for 2020. Amen. Yes. Amen. Donis, hold on there. What's Gracie saying there, Travis? I want to have a closer relationship with God mm -hmm. and allow him to use me and lead me where he wants me to go for his name's sake. Amen. 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 You know, that's why I read this. Like, remember to like and share the page because this is positive vibes coming down here. Um, over the, um, over the, 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 the holidays, we've 
um, there were some accidents, you know. Yes. Um, there were I see on the road a lot of Both mags, you know. Well, yeah. I, I saw one today, you know, yeah. and these vehicles are you know mashed up and so on. Yeah, I can really imagine badly. the expenses and so even if you're insured and so on, but you know, mm -hmm. a lot of things. Then we had some fires, a couple yeah. um, persons lost their homes. Yeah. There were some there were some things even as we close up the year, mm -hmm. that unfortunate things, you know. Even mm -hmm. today I participated in a funeral, you know, there were a lot of people mm -hmm. who were buried over the place, you know, sad and so on um, and that kind of thing but but we are saying to you that 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 in 2020 God, God will take you. care of yes. you that's Amen. the vibes you want to push tonight something old something new and something, uh, something bold I forget the bold in the middle <laughs> there you know but something new and all about Jesus all about God right Chomen right. Bihari says Psalm 23 the Lord is my shepherd yeah very nice very nice Charming, that's your Avian Mason says she want to share a little about her experience. Who is going to read for us? I'll read it. You'll read, go ahead. She says, My experience for 2019 was master guide training and leading out in the Pathfinder ministry at my church. Amen. My very first result after the summary submission, I actually jumped for joy, telling mm. my hussy, I've just passed my first class to achieving my degree as a soldier for the Lord. <laughs> oh boy. And I believe I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Yeah. Indeed, God has been gracious to my family and I. Oh. Oh, amen. would the church say amen? amen. All the young people say amen. amen. Yeah, go happy, go happy. Mm -hmm. That's the testimony we want to drive. That's the positivity we want to, the positive vibes we want to, we want to push tonight. We want to connect you. We want to, we want to give you Jesus and with Jesus, all things are possible, man. Yeah, There's right. no telling what you can do as you connect with Jesus. Would you say amen? amen. You know? Yeah, yeah. That that that's good vibes there. Okay. Listen, listen to that. Really. Listen, we are yeah, tell, yeah. you're talking about your your spiritual leader. Travis, you answered that already. No, um, no we didn't. Oh, you didn't answer yet. We were just interacting with our online mm, that's right. so wrapped up. <laughs> well, tell us about that. We take a break and then we come back with a little quiz. Yeah, we, we right. still have some time for for quiz. We want to give them a little quiz tonight. Yeah, but tell us about your spiritual goal that you want to put on the agenda for 2020. Okay, so there's two. If two, you, you have two. Yes. Mm. So one of them is reading a particular book from Ellen White. Yeah. That is um, messages to young lovers. Messages to young lovers. And it's a good book. You sure it's not messages to young people? No, 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 no. no. no, no. He's, co he's covered that one. I've right? covered that already. <laughs> right. Okay. So messages to young lovers. Uh -huh. Okay, but um, I, I, I can, I, I can't remember bouncing, uh, bouncing up that book. But someone told me about it too. I never seen it. I've never seen it. Never me. I'm, I'm but somebody told me. a lot me. of her books. Mm -hmm. Messages to young lovers. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I think you're gonna read it. I, I'm not sure. They said. But let me tell you a secret. If he's gonna read that book, it means that you I know, mean, has, something. Um, yeah. Someone told me about it. Yes, but yeah. right. And the second one is developing my presentation style for preaching. Your so, presentation for yeah. preaching, very nice. So, like, I've seen some pastors like they could preach without even using any yeah, written things. Yeah, kind of extemporaneous. Yeah. They have things in memory. In some memory so do. well spoken and stuff, so I want to work on that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not my kind of style. Yeah, that's I, not your style. I like my notes. You me, know? Too. Yeah, me too, me yeah. too. <laughs> but, but, but fit in your shell, eh? you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> some, some guys here, yeah, they, you know, they have the kind of memory. They talk the heads. They really well. Yeah, explode, yeah, but um, my, my, my cup of tea, I'm comfortable with my notes. Yeah, you know, right. Right. I'm, I'm a notes guy. You know, I kind of. Yeah, but but that's all right. That's all right. Different styles and so on. Mm -hmm. And boarding preacher there, yeah. I like that, you know. Pastor Hall. Boarding preacher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Evangelist Hall. Evangelist Hall. Yes. Dr. No, Evangelist Hall. Yeah, you know. You, you, you see the kind of vibe that that's what our young people and young people. That's what we want you to to get tonight. You know, we want you to you know you look at what the objective is to you know you gotta have some goals, some plans for 2020 not only getting an education and getting this and buying a car that, that, that's okay and so on but you got to put the spiritual um aspect there component right. there too god must be forced in everything yeah mm -hmm. and so on let's hear what princilla oh just a correction it's not messages to young lovers it's letters, letters. to young lovers. oh letters <laughs> so letters letters Letters. Well, she said messages as well. But, but you were close. You were yeah. close. Letters, messages. I guess there's some messages inside in the, mess. your, in the letter. Yeah. Right. All right. But here, what Kati Kati Kumbabat says, yes, messages. Um, it's a lovely book. Messages to really young lovers. Right. right? Yeah. So she, that person must have read it. Very nice. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to lay my hand on it too. Mm -hmm. Um. So you inspired me there to get that book okay. because. 
I can inform my sharing with young people, you know, right, yeah. that kind of thing. Right. Very nice. Mm -hmm. What Princilla, Princilla, Samson Thomas says there? She says, my favorite text is Isaiah 41, 10. Yeah. It's a text that provides encouragement and assurance that God is always there and powerful than all situations. Amen, yeah. amen. I felt that one, boy. That's sweet, <laughs> eh? That's real, real sweet there. Yeah? Right, that's on your, 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 your spiritual... Um, my spiritual um, goal for 2020... Yeah. Um, I want to learn how to give Bible studies. You want to learn how I've, to give I've, I've, Okay, I've, let me take a note. I'm going to have the <laughs> ministries leader. I pull it out my, my pen and paper. <laughs> Descent from St. George's. You know, um, all the, the schools I've been to before, Tam CC yeah. and NGU and so on. I'm interacting with people and yeah. told them about God and so on. Mm -hmm. But I want to be able to take it a step further. Okay. You know, yeah. going to deeper study with them. You know, yeah. sometimes I don't like just telling them and then just leaving it there and yeah. hope somebody else finishes. You know, I right. want to be able to help guide them and i know for sure that in guiding them through it as well it teaches me as well because you wow. know when you teach others you learn wow. as well so wow. that is something that i'm looking forward to yeah. um getting into excellent. for 2020 excellent excellent isn't that isn't that that's wonderful that's wonderful <laughs> wonderful and and so other young persons there you know you you find what god has for you and do something you know pauline wicks joined us um Amesas, Amenas, I hope I have it right. Sandy, Amina, Sandy. joined us, yeah. Thank you very much. Folks, let's 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 take a break. It's a good time to take a nice little break. Mm -hmm. And then, um for 20 to think pause in this youth life. If you have just joined and share the page, but in the meantime, we want you to relax and enjoy this special item of music.
this evening of course we will really featuring our young uh, uh, musicians yeah young men of god the uh daniel brothers um accompanied by nathan williams yeah great is thy faithfulness you know um very wonderful item of music there very 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 good we thank you um while we while we were watching that um special music and we're getting quiz it's time for quizzes yeah? so put on your thinking cap you know and, and let's answer a few bible questions we just have about seven of them travis yep yeah quick and fast and then we're gonna come down to the closing segment yeah but while you were there a lot of things happened while you were there so let's see if you could really 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 rush through. we have grace james just saying beautiful yeah stun stephen just joined ricardo is there giving us these these from these different you know languages francesca frances emmanuel she just sent us the link there for the letters to young lovers you know so guys we can check it out yeah mm -hmm. all young people check it out boy tonight is a real night i like tonight you know? <laughs> you getting resources and bible texts and resources mm -hmm. even the spirit of prophecy they're coming mm -hmm. up you know mm -hmm. yeah boy we're we going good for the year right so tell us who else we have um who else ricardo is there Francis. francisca is giving her favorite bible text and hers is john 16 33 yeah. says these things i spoken i've spoken mm -hmm. unto you mm -hmm. that in me you might have peace in yes. the world mm -hmm. you shall have tribulation but be of good cheer mm -hmm. i have overcome the world amen and it brings comfort to her amen yeah. wonderful day wonderful day francisca you know when the gill is there um O'Farrell is there, she's there. Grace James says Psalms 119, um yes, verse 133 one. to 135. That's I guess her favorite text, you know. And then we have Pauline Weeks from oh, SVG. Vincent and the mm -hmm. Grenadine saying hello. Our Happy neighbors. Sabbath to you. Yeah, too. our neighbors. And who else? We have somebody there. So uh, from St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. It's also saying Happy Sabbath. Right. So in weeks, Happy Sabbath to you too. Right. Excellent. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. Well, quiz time. Let's go to the quiz. Let's go to the quiz, boy. <laughs> Travis, you have the opportunity for the first question tonight on quiz. That's the first quiz for 2020. Yeah. And Travis, you have the opportunity to give us the first question. First quiz. <laughs> First month of the year, <laughs> first youth, uh, Adventist youth life, and you giving us the first, first question. question. And by the way, we should tell you, young people, because um, um, for uh, for Bible Connection Union and ID Bible Connection, the books we study in, one of the books is Job, Job. yeah, that's right, Job, and mm -hmm. the sun is coming hotter than ever, you know. She, I mean, she been studying things. <laughs> You know, <laughs> time <laughs> since last year she started. You know, so um, the quiz for Advent um, Youth Life will will really focus on some of these books, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, so that we can start interacting and interfacing with these books, so that our young people and even the membership, the young um, adults are like, we can get to learn more about these books, and you can read and so on. And so, those of you will be participating in this contest. It's a Bible <laughs> night to tell us your experience with Bible Connect. But you know, um, but we want you to know that. So the quiz will be following that. So let's go with the first one. First one, Travis. All right. I'll start this off. Mm -hmm. Why did Satan attack Job and his family? Mm -hmm. Is it A, God bragged about Job's character? Mm -hmm. Is it B, Job was afraid of Satan? C, Job was a wicked man? Or D, all of the above? Hmm. You want to repeat? And I think the questions will be popping up on your screen some sometime. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the question reads, why did Satan attack Job and his family? Is it A, God bragged about Job's character? B. Job was afraid of Satan. C. Job was a wicked man. Or D. All of the above. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's the question. It's quiz mm -hmm. time. Give us your answer quickly. If you don't, if you can run to the text, or you can't find it. But you know the story of Job. Give us an intelligent answer, and we'll see what happens. Maybe Desa might have a mint for you. I don't know. Travis might have something. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know. So we have all the so far we so have A, A's. A, wow, A. they're sharp, yeah. Hussein says A, Agnes Alexander A, Charmin is there with A, Ricardo, he forget about all his language, <laughs> he says A, <laughs> Priscilla George says A, Nadia Julian says A, and the answer is Travis? The answer is A. The answer is A? You sure you could work with that? Sure it is. Right? What, you what? can look at Job 1, 8 and see that the answer is actually God bragged about Job's character. Right, excellent. Right, so that's a very that was an easy one mm -hmm. to start in to the book of, of Job's, yeah, mm -hmm. in the book of Job. Sorry, 
Um, so just one. going forward now, yeah. when you're putting the answer for the next question, just put the number and then the answer. All so right. that we'll know what answer you're answering. Right, that's, that's nice. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. All Good. right, so we move on to question two. Question two, yes. Where was Job from? Mm, I've got an answer. No. Oh, Why not? Why not? Pastor. The land of Uzziah or the land of Canaan. C. The land of Uzziah, or D, the land of Uz. All right. To have you on Adventist Youth Live tonight, yeah? All right. So we're looking for some answers there. All right. What boy, they follow your instruction. Okay. <laughs> Let what boy chop you. Where is he So let's Rico see. says D. Mm -hmm. Someone else said D as well. Mm -hmm. Nisa said D. Ricardo is saying D. Yeah. Chanel is saying D. Rachel is saying the land of Uz. Alright. That's D. Mm -hmm. Right. Nova is there. Mm -hmm. That that one of our our, our quiz guru, you know. <laughs> yeah. Charming is there with D. Hamish is saying D. The Hamish, Hamish and all in the mix tonight. Well I tell you, Adventist Youth Life gone. Uh -huh. Dale Charles. Dale Charles is there. She's saying D. Right? Pama is saying D. Nadia Julian D. Kathleen Scott says D. Well, D, D. Wendy, Aman, Amanda Clark Boy says yes. two D. <laughs> she makes no mistake with that. And the answer is D. Oh, you could walk Job with that. Job was answer. from the land of us, and right. you can check that in Job 1 1. Oh, okay. The first text. Very <laughs> nice, very nice, very nice. And V, look, Barclay coming in, Priscilla, George, with D, Marlin, Barclay. So a lot of Ds. These are easy ones, eh? We start in easy <laughs> boys, we go nice. through. So far, so We're going to get, you know, but let's go. Number three. Let's, number, number three. Let's see how we do number three. In Job 1 21, Job shows his humbleness. How does he do that? Do this? The answer is A, he got mad at God. B, he says all he has belongs to the Lord. C, he cursed his wife. D, he turned his back on God. I repeat, in Job 1.21, Job shows his humbleness. How does he do that? A, he got mad at God. B, he says all he has belongs to the Lord. C, he cursed his wife. And D, he turned his back on God. Answer, we are waiting for your answer to this question. Shane Gordon just joined us. Raymond Thomas joined us. Welcome, Happy New Year. It's Adventist Youth Live. Um, Nova Noll is coming in there with an answer. Three, B. Right, all you have to all you the editors. Or the, not the editor. editors or auditors. Which one? Which one I should use here, Travis? Auditors. Auditors better? Yeah. All right, right. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, Chanel Toussaint says 3B. Mm -hmm. And you know, they're following, they're following the following Travis instruction to the letter, you know. Yes. Yes. I tell you, I like, I like all your boy. We set up real nice, you know. Sally, Charles, Palmer, B. Yes. So all those who say 3B, give yourself a round of applause. Oh, you got it there. Right, let's move to number four. Number four, listen up again. How many? Boy, if I could answer, I could have scored a good few <laughs> points here now. All right, you want to repeat? Sure. When Job's friend heard of his adversity, how many of them planned to go and comfort him? Mm -hmm. Is it A, zero, B, three, C, five, or D, four? Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right, let's see. Um, these persons are answering to, the, to this question. 3B, sure. I see Dale say B, so we don't know which one you're answering. Right? Don't forget to put says, the number of the question. Yeah, you gotta put the number of the question. So that's question number four, yeah? Right. Number four. Um, and Stedlin Edwards just joined. Zwadi Courtney joined, you know? Welcome. Like and share the page. Happy New Year to you. It's Adventist Youth Life coming to you from the Greener Conference of Seven Adventists. And we're just doing all this corresponds with the answer. Yeah? many of them planned to go and comfort him is mm -hmm. it a is it i'm real fast and furious here yeah? joy sandy for i know you're there kelly scott is there they saying 4b 4b chairman is there tassie puzzle tannis welcome she said 4b making no mistake ricardo says 4-3 all <laughs> right 4-3 oh yeah well all right b is 
is, is corresponding with three, we could work with that. Okay, but that's next right. time, put a B for us. <laughs> Malik Barclay is that. I like this guy, you know, Ricardo, you know. Mm -hmm. He's into all his languages and so yeah, on, you know. <laughs> all right. Um, Palmer says B. So, and the answer is Travis? B. B? Three right. of his friends. But everybody getting it right tonight, boy. The questions are that easy? I guess mm -hmm. so. Right. That's on your turn with number five. Question right. number five. Remember to put the, the, the number, mm -hmm. the question number, and then the... The letter, the corresponding letter with you. Source, B, made his wife sick, C, destroyed his place, or D, none of the above. What did Satan first do to change Job's attitude? D, none of the above. Mm -hmm. So that's question five. All right, question five, question five. Long but Paul is there. Pastor Paul, try your hand at one of these questions. <laughs> All right, see if you get a point here. Eh? All right. Nice, let's see who is coming in with the answer. That's question number five. So put five and then the letter that corresponds. And I think you should be seeing it on your on your on your device also. Mm -hmm. It's been posted there, so you can um, really give it a shot quickly. And after that, we have two more, right? They're coming in. They're coming in. Azaria says love, Azaria Love says five A. Um, 5A, we're watching, Ricardo says 5A, Samantha Musselin says 5D, um, Sally Palmer says D, 5D, Kellyn says 5D, mm -hmm. let's see if we get two more and then we'll give you the answer, um, Michelle Graham, Jerome Graham says 5A, and the answer, Tassie says 5 Job 1, 14, to 19. Mm -hmm. Job 1. Job 1, 14 to 19. 14, yeah. 14, 1 to 90, right. So, um, remember, remember direct events of naturalism. Kind of thing, the fact, you know, this, you remember that? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, um, by the time you get to the souls and so on, that was later down, yeah. you know, when yeah. everything yeah, else did more, thing. right? Mm -hmm. Right, so remember the question was forced. All right, so I'm number six. Mm -hmm. to not touch my, my servant and then right. later on, he allowed him to touch him. You are a good Bible student. <laughs> nice, Thank you. very nice. Number six now. Right, number six. How do how did Job's friends react to the destruction of Job's family and fortune? How did Job's friends react to the destruction of Job's family and fortunes? Job's wars. B. They cried for him and with him. C. They sympathized with him. D. They prayed fervently for his healing. Let me repeat. How did Job's friends react to the destruction of Job's family and fortunes? A. His friends told him uh, he brought his misfortune on himself and quite possibly deserves more. B. They cried for him and with him. C. They sympathized with him. And D. They prayed fervently for his healing. Mm -hmm. All right, give us that one there. It was a long one. So what? How did they react? What did they do? You know, when they heard of his loss, he lost his family, he lost his fortunes. You know, and so on. what did they do? So let's see. Answers are coming in. What six A and they, they sound like they're confident about the A's. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The answer is six A. His mm -hmm. friends told him he brought his misfortunes on himself and mm -hmm. quite possibly deserves more. Right. Yeah, they accuse him of all sorts of things. You can find that in Job um, chapter 4 to 27. Mm -hmm. Right, so you, you find they told him a lot of things. You did this and of because of that and yeah. all kind of, you know, mm -hmm. and so on. Right, the last one, Travis, you right. started and you're, you're going to end. <laughs> the, quiz, yeah? mm -hmm. the last question, and it reads, how were Job's <coughs> children killed? Is it A, an earthquake, B, bandits slaughtered them, C, they were eaten by wild beasts, mm -hmm. or D, a mighty wind blew over the house they were in and they died? Mm. Read again. Is it, how did Job's children, how were Job's kill, children killed? Mm -hmm. Is it A, an earthquake, B, bandits slaughtered them, C, they were eaten by wild beasts, or D, a mighty wind blew over their house and they were and they died. Mm -hmm. All right. What's your answer? What's your answer? Question seven. Question seven. That's question seven. Question seven. 
Yeah. And, so, and there are some lessons, even in light of what we've been discussing, something old, something new, borrowed, something, something new, new, you know? And talking, Francis is there, a lot of answers are coming in already. On that seventh question, very nice, very nice. Keep them coming, let's see. The auditors are, you know, looking for the answers. Yeah. They're really looking for the answers, making sure that you get it right. Wendy Henry is there. Wendy, good, good try, good try. Right. And Travis, what's the answer, Travis? So the answer is 7D. 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 Very nice. And I see somebody put D7. I guess it's speed now, trying to type and so on, but we understand, yeah? yeah. We could still work with that, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice, very nice, the queen. But I was, I was saying, thank you very much for participating. I see you can have fun studying um the the, the, the the Bible, you know, and even the opening book of Job there. And and as we told you, as we go on in Adventist Youth Life, you will get more of these quiz. We're gonna be studying, drawing these questions from the book, so that um those of you are participating in uh, Bible Connect, and of course um those of you who are going to be viewing, and you can we can learn more from these books yes, yes? Mm -hmm. learn more from these books as we go on but through it all um whatever job went through job maintained mm -hmm. his integrity and he maintained his hold on on on, on god mm -hmm. he did not give up on god you know yeah. mm -hmm. um you look through that and you see so sometimes thing, things happen mm -hmm. um to us um um bad things we say mm -hmm. seemingly bad things mm -hmm. But to it all, God is still in control. Mm -hmm. God is still in control. And we're saying as we begin 2020, don't give up, you know? Mm -hmm. Don't 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 lose faith. Don't 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 give up. You know, trust God. And um, as we begin the past, you know, we are we are borrowing from the past, you know. We as we rehearse God's blessings, right? Have the confidence and know that He can take care of you in 2020, you know? Right. right? Let's take another break. Let's take another break with our special item of music. Um, and then we'll come back to all music on Adventist Youth Live.
Thank you very much. Uh, that's our final special item for the evening on Adventist Youth Live. Again, coming from the Daniel Brothers, accompanied by Nathan Williams. And we thank you very much for that item of music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, as we, we come down to the end, um, we just want to, you know, um, we saw some prayer requests and so on um, coming in. We are going to pray for those requests, you know, in a while. Um, you know, you can just send your final comments or testimonies of the goodness of God. And of course, you can keep posting even after the program because, of course, persons will be reading, you know, mm -hmm. or the reading. I want to ask my, my uh, panelists, um, or my guests here, my special friends, you know, um, just a just, uh, question before we wrap up. You know, is there a Christian role model in your life, um, you know, um, and why is that person your role model? So for me, I choose not to like make people my role model. Mm -hmm. So for me, Jesus is my role model. All right. So mm -hmm. that's it for me. Right. Very nice. Okay. Thank you. We can walk with that. <laughs> no problem. That's what. Yeah. That's um, what about you? We can, I agree with what Travis said, but mm -hmm. there is still someone in my family who has made a great impact on my life. Yeah. Um. Of course, she's not alive now, but I have an aunt who was um very bold about her Christian walk. Okay. Yeah. She was willing to share it with whoever wherever she was no matter what they were doing she was just happy to share that message that god asked her to send to others we'd mm -hmm. be driving in a vehicle and she'd be speaking to people out the window saying jesus is coming mm -hmm. you know she was so bold with that and she has inspired me to um want to be that kind of um, christian for god you know to stand out and to not be ashamed of mm -hmm. it so that kind of treat so you think you can emulate that that kind of you know you. I mean, it's not always an easy thing to, to stand out because, yeah. you know, when you when you stand for Christ, you're doing something that everybody else isn't doing, mm -hmm. you know, and it's going to lead people to um, ask you more questions. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's going to take a lot for you to, to study. Mm -hmm. You have to study and know exactly what you're talking about mm -hmm. so that when people ask questions, you can give an answer yeah. for what you believe. Right. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Um, Nadia Julian said, praying for better internet connections <laughs> for 20 <laughs> I know some people might have challenge where based on where you are, but we are we are so far up to this point. We are running all right here, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, um, um, folks. As we as we wrap up this evening, you know, as we wrap up, and we want to give them something new, something mm -hmm. new. There is something as as Seventh Day Adventists, we continually promote what is called the New Start program, yes. right? The New Start, and so as we begin. This year, it's a good place to remind persons, mm -hmm. our young persons and our Adventist friend, and even our non-Adventist friend, New Start. What is New Start, um, Desan? What is, what, is, what, what is New Start? Well, it stands for... Tell us about the new one. I hope Travis could tell us about the start. <laughs> yeah, so you tell us what is new. New Start. What the, uh, is, uh, uh -huh. Tell us. What's well, um, it incorporates health. And it, it's... Um, there is eight principles that we try to encourage people to live their lives by that mm -hmm. would help them to be um, more healthy, not just spiritually, but uh, physically as well and yeah. mentally uh -huh. also. Mm -hmm. All right. And what new, the abbreviation for this is new stats. Right. So the, the N in the new stands for nutrition. Right. Uh, the E stands for exercise and the W stands for water. Right. So we're talking nutrition. Yes. You must eat well. Eat well. Mm -hmm. eat healthy balanced stuff. Meal, yes. Be balanced mm -hmm. meal. Yeah. And when you say E, it stands for exercise. exercise. Yeah, resolution, yeah. boy. Yeah. Losing weight. <laughs> and warm, you know, and exercise. It's important to get 20 to 30 minutes at least of vigorous exercise. You know, some people say, oh, when I walk home, so that's exercise. But, I mean, if you're casually strolling, you know, you're not really getting the blood pumping, pumping right. you know. The 20 to 30 minutes of vigorous exercise. And that's something good. you can put for, you know, God wants us to be healthy. Yes. yes. And yes. then the W is W. Yeah. And for water. Water. Okay. Very important. Right. Drink a lot of water, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and there are different um I've heard just some say drink six to eight glasses. I heard people other persons say, Well, you have to drink based on your body weight and mass and mm -hmm. say doctor to be you can maybe tell her but but that's one other health program. But mm -hmm. drink water, you know, drink and coming up to the hot period as we begin, you know, the heat um the this could be very, very um, unbearable, you know, you've yeah. got to be hydrating yourself. That's that's the principle there. Tell us about the start, um, Travis, as we close up. As so, we give for them the stuff. start, um, the S stands for sunshine. So, mm -hmm. you know, we need that vitamin D. So, mm -hmm. we go outside and get that fresh sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. So, T for temperance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you need to be temperate in all things. Yeah. Do not overdo stuff or do not underdo mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. um, air, we mm -hmm. need to get some fresh air. Yeah. Rest. 
Mm-hmm. Rest is very important for rejuvenation. Oh yes, boy. And I getting so. rid of toxins and so on from your body. Mm-hmm. Um, and the best, uh, the le- the last and the best is trust in God. Oh yes. yeah. So, mm. so above yeah. everything, just trust God. Amen. As we've been saying, God will take care of yeah. you. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Well, folks, um, as we come to the end. Um, if it's one thing you want to say to our viewers, our young people, for 2020, you want to encourage them with some, you know, something tonight, what would you say, Travis? I would say, I know we all start off the new year with new year resolutions, and yeah. sometimes we don't keep it, mm-hmm. but I know with God we can do all things, mm-hmm. so trust that God will help you keep your new year's resolution mm-hmm. for 2020. Amen. Yes, take Amen. it step by step and make realistic goals for yourself. Um, mm-hmm. Don't... Don't go too crazy and then get yourself disappointed, you know. Take it step by step, build up, and eventually, mm-hmm. with God's help, you will accomplish all of your goals oh, for 2020. Wonderful, mm-hmm. wonderful. I think I'll bring all the back soon, you know. <laughs> we have some other things to talk about, you know. Sure. And, and so on. And you guys look like you're going to be really blessed. You're going to have a lot, you know. Remember the poor, right? <laughs> <laughs> the poor will always be among you. Like me, I'm talking well, about. Take care of you, you understand? Take no, care yes, but you <laughs> provide for you. Give you to take care of me, mm-hmm. I mean, you know. But you know, God will take care of all of us by yes, in different right. ways. You know, mm-hmm. gonna be challenged. I wish you success, Travis, Thank as you. you continue to, you know, your sojourn in the medical school and field. You know, mm-hmm. God will certainly t- take care of you. You know, mm-hmm. and trusting there gonna be some rough times as you grapple with these concepts and these. Yes. Oh boy, I'm telling you. And this on you too, whatever line, you know. Mm-hmm. And so on. And no Bible connect is you sleeping, you dreaming, <laughs> Bible connect you. You seeing Bible connect you, oh, you know. Oh, you oh, praying oh. Bible connect, you know. <laughs> that kind of thing, the Bible and all the study guides and all them questions and so on, you know. Mm-hmm. But God will certainly bless you, all right. All right, Sanford says, have a spirit filled Sabbath and yes. safe travel. Thank you very Thank much. You um, Deborah say, have a blessed night, everyone. Um, good night and blessing to you. Um, says um, let we very happy thank you very much and folks that's where we bring cuttings down tonight and we're gonna say a special prayer for those requests that have came in those who are sick those who um, you know have challenges um, those who just want God to work out things for them in 2020 we want to place all of you in the hand of God you know so all three of us gonna say short prayers as we come to a close tonight um, Travis, you're going to pray as a young man, you know, just I need to see them briefly, you know, um, Destin, you're going to do the same, and I'm, I'm going to wrap up. So we can just sing one stanza and whisper a prayer, you know, whisper a prayer in the morning, whisper a prayer at noon, we just sing one stanza, and then we're going to pray together, all right? We're going to say a brief prayer, and then we're going to, mm-hmm, all right? <laughs> Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you.
you so much for bringing us safely through yet another day, another week, and most importantly, through another year. Yes. Father, we thank you so much for the program that we would have had, and we pray that persons who would have been listening would have been inspired by thank what we Jesus. discussed today. Father, I pray tonight for the young people of our church. Father, I pray that you would give them that boldness to stand yes. for you. I pray that they won't be ashamed of um, who they are and who you are, Father, but that they would go out there and just share your word with all of their friends, all yes. of their family, everybody that they can come in contact with. Yes. I pray that they would find new ways to share your, your love with others, Father, so that they can stay active in you and stay accountable. Amen. Father, I pray that you would continue to be with us, continue to bless us, and help us to always remember to commit our plans to you and to let you have first place in our lives. As we ask in your name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we give you praise and we thank you for how you have led us in the past. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for our guests tonight, two young persons who have shared with us so wonderfully, the persons of Travis and Desan. I pray your blessing upon them, dear Heavenly Father, as they go through 2020. Grant them the desires of their heart and I pray that as they lean upon you, you would grant them wisdom and understanding and you will bless them tremendously. We pray for the Adventist Youth Life family, those who produce, who write, who make things happen, who come from time to time and sacrifice the Heavenly Father. We pray for all our viewers tonight. They are also part of this ministry. Lord, uh, wherever they are viewing from, they are listening from all across the Caribbean, all across the world. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you reach out and touch everyone tonight. We have different situations and different circumstances. You know them. So that's why we call upon you, dear Heavenly Father, at the beginning of 2020, that you will come true for us. Help us to give you a chance to walk in our lives. And we do not know what tomorrow or what the rest of 2020 holds, but we do know that you hold 2020 in your hand. And so, Lord, we ask that you guide us through these untried days and months ahead. And then when we come, as we go through, we will be careful as you lead us, as you guide us, we will be careful to give you the honor, the glory, and the praise. We thank you. And then at last, when uh, another year would have come to a part, to a close, and programs like these would have come to an end, all of your people viewing and watching and who will view after all of us, Lord, will be saved in your eternal kingdom. We thank you for hearing and answering our prayer in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Folks, thank you very much. Travis and Desan, thank you very much, folks. Thank you very much for participating, for viewing and making new life what it was tonight. And may God continue to bless you tremendously in 2020. And as we've been saying, as we go in through the night, God will take care of you. Have a good night, everyone. And see you next week, same time, same place.
shine a light to a darkened world And always live the truth in every way May your love for me be seen by everyone And lead others to trust the love you want Transform